What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with the 350th volume of the CTC review on a special Saturday edition because it's the three year anniversary of the channel. Happy anniversary, Ryan. Yeah. We made it and uh, I think we've got, boy, at or near 12,000 subscribers, at or near 5 million views. So we've got a lot to show for our time and it's time to celebrate and there's two great ways to do it right now with products hitting store shelves. Uh, one of the 10 out of 10, we've only had four in the history of the CTC review, but one of the double 10 out of 10 products was the Blue Heat Takis. Well, this time, not only are they focusing on the color of the Takis, but their color changing. That's because we've got Scorpion Barbecue and Volcano Queso color changing Takis. One of them turns blue and one of them turns green. I believe that the queso one turns green, Ryan. Can you see that? Yes. And that the scorpion barbecue turns blue. Yes. So no matter what, that's a 10 out of 10 gimmick grade. Not to spoil uh, such a monumental review, but that's going to be a perfect gimmick grade. And to wash it down, our favorite energy drink in an all-new flavor. Well, we assume it's a new flavor. It's a new labeled flavor, but it sure looks like Rainbow Unicorn, doesn't it? Uh, so it's the Radical Skedaddle Bang Energy Drink. Nice. These Takis were $1.89 at Quick Trip, the uh, gas station convenience store. $1.89 for a pretty small bag. I have seen bigger bags for $2.50. So especially if you're kind of in the southwest portion of the country, I think it should be a little bit easier to find. Ryan, that's the queso variety that you've grabbed. And that's the barbecue variety. All right, Looks so like um, totally normal. They do look pretty normal, but uh, you know, I think that out of the two flavors, I think that the this one turning green is probably the most interesting. So even though it's got the best package, let's start with the scorpion barbecue. And while I eat it, I'm going to show you what it looks like to change the color. Hey, it's turning the water blue. <laughs> That is powerful. Nice. So, here, um. Oh yeah, you're covered in, okay. you didn't even need to do that. <laughs> so this is some incredible, this looks like Kool-Aid now. <laughs> it looks like a commercial for like sandals, Jamaica. <laughs> so, uh, as far as the taste goes, a solid barbecue flavor. Ryan, did you like the taste of it? I didn't eat it. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. So, um, really solid barbecue flavor. It's got some spiciness, but don't let the scorpion... Let's see your tongue. Don't... Ah! Oh! <laughs> don't let the scorpion fool you. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not obnoxiously hot. It's really not. So even if you're kind of sensitive to spicy food... I still think that you should try it. It's pretty good. I just can't believe how blue this water is. It's crazy. Volcano Queso is next up. Once again, $1.89 a quick trip. Looks like a normal uh, queso flavored chip. Wow, it's, it is kind of turning that water green. You know what's disappointing though is it doesn't really change the color of the Taki as much as it would change the color on your tongue or of the water that you dip it in, because that looks pretty much the same. You can see little speckles of green in it. I don't know if the camera is going to be it won't. accurate enough to see it. Yeah. No. So look, it was powerful enough to turn that, uh, that water kind of more of a tealish color. And, uh, you know, it's funny because we actually have a special teal color product coming up in our From the Archives <laughs> feature. Mm. The queso is spicier. Yes, definitely. Uh, it definitely has a really good kick. And it does distinctly taste like queso and not just generic cheese-flavored snack, you yeah. know? It's, it actually is a, a queso flavor, so... Can't beat that, but of course, uh, with a little bit of heat and a lot of salt, we're getting thirsty. 
And we've got a long day of reviewing ahead of us. So Ryan, here's to the anniversary of CTC. We're gonna get into the Radical Skedaddle Yay! energy drink of Bang. Man, oh man. Uh, so the only difference is instead of a blue center of the Bang logo, it's, uh, it's like more of a pinkish purple. Other than that, this looks exactly like Rainbow Unicorn, right? Mm. That's what I thought when I first mm. saw it. It does kind of taste like Skittles, doesn't it? You're getting a lot of sweetness. But I'm actually getting more of a cotton candy flavor than I expected. Now, there is a cotton candy flavor of Bang. I would say this tastes more like cotton candy than the cotton candy flavored bank. Are you getting a lot of cotton candy flavor? Get some cotton candy. Cotton candy. Yeah, when you With say, some Skittles. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely radical. It is pretty radical. And I mean, you're getting a ton of sweetness. Just like any bang product, this is zero calories, zero sugar, uh, 300 milligrams of caffeine. Most importantly, you're getting your amino acids and all that nonsense, uh, coenzyme Q10 for your uh, sperm health and egg quality. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you, this is, this is a good solid addition. It definitely cannot compete with like the black cherry vanilla and the lemon drop and the, uh, the champagne. You know, a lot of champagne. those, yeah, a lot of those top, top tier flavors. We should have really had a champagne, but oh. what can you do? Uh, but definitely something worth trying out. A lot of these bang flavors with their, uh, like their sweetness, it really makes them unique. This doesn't taste like any other energy drink that you'll find. And it really doesn't even taste like rainbow unicorn that much. No, not at all. I don't know. It's it's a good it's a good solid drink and definitely it's gonna jumpstart your freaking day or your workout or however you use energy drinks because it is packed and I already feel better. I don't I know about know. you. I feel fantastic. <laughs> Need to take a nap. That's I know good. it. But uh, so we'll get into the gimmick grades here. I already spoiled the gimmick grade on the color changing talkies, but they are absolutely positively as clear cut a 10 out of 10 as I've ever seen since day one of the CTC review when I was like, we should do, we should grade the gimmick. Yeah. That's why the CTC review exists to celebrate the gimmick more than the taste. So 10 out of 10, my highest possible recommendation to find them and buy them. Radical skedaddle. I don't like that it's basically a carbon copy of the packaging for Rainbow Unicorn. I love the name Radical Skedaddle, and Skedaddle's a word, right? Yeah. Like, and that's not how you spell it. I always spell it with an I. Skedaddle. Yeah. I don't think... I've never written it. Before. I don't know. <laughs> in my mind, I spelled it with I feel an like I. it's got D's in it, and not T's. You're right. You're right. That Skedaddle with a double D, not a double T, maybe. So I guess this is just for copyright purposes or something. I don't know. But it is a good name. No matter how you spell it, it's a great name. It would be an eye-catching package if Rainbow Unicorn didn't exist, but it does. So I'll give the... Uh, this is tough. I'll give the gimmick a six and a half, right? Because a powerful name. It's good. Cool. It's a great name. Um, and even though it has copycat packaging, when I first saw the Rainbow Unicorn, I was very impressed with how it looked. Uh, all right, well, there's, uh, there's, there's some important decision-making to go into this capsule countdown, right? Third place, man, this is tough. I really like all three, actually. But I'm going to give third place, actually, to also the Radical Skedaddle. Do you agree on that one, Ryan? It's, it, it's not a top tier. I wouldn't say it's a top 10 bang flavor, but it is good. You're getting good sweetness out of it. I prefer the taste to the gimmick, so I'm going to give it a seven and a half out of 10, an incredibly strong showing for a third place on today's Capsule Countdown. And that brings us to the Volcano Queso and the Scorpion Barbecue. And Ryan, I don't know about you, but I'd say second place would go to the Scorpion Barbecue. Really? I do think that the spiciness of the Volcano Queso takes it over the top, because when I think Takis, I think of a good spicy, salty snack. Yeah. And this is really more of just a 
traditional good flavored snack, also salty. <laughs> so Scorpion Barbecue, I'm going to give it second place on today's Capsule Countdown and a 9 out of 10. But this is where the big decision comes in. Ryan, should I do it for number 350? I don't know. Should I do it? I can't do it. I'm sorry. I would love to give you guys a double 10 out of 10 to celebrate, but I got to go nine and a half in first place on today's it's Capsule right Countdown. Do. It is the right thing to do. It's a delicious snack. The one thing that I think is most impressive, even beyond the crazy green color that it turned that water in my tongue, is that it really distinctly tastes like queso. It does not taste like just a cheese flavored chip where there you have millions of different options out there. Millions of other options that have been around forever that might be easier to find, cheaper, whatever. They did a great job of capturing that flavor. There is really good spiciness in it. That said, would I say that it's better than a blue heat taki? I would not. Blue heat takis were really a better overall flavor. And this one was closer, I'd say, to Scorpion Barbecue in terms of its quality than the Blue Heat. So I got to give it a 9 out of 10, not, excuse me, 9.5 out of 10 in first place on today's Capsule Countdown. But a 19.5, that's definitely nothing to sneeze at. We talked about teal. Well, the product from the archives today is a very special one. It's not just Heinz Easy Squirt Ketchup. It's a mystery color of Heinz Easy Squirt Ketchup. So we're paying homage here to a uh, another double 10 out of 10, the Great Value Green Slime Ketchup that was our first double 10 with a, another color changing regular flavor of ketchup. These came out in 2002, two years after the Heinz Easy Squirt line was introduced. Uh, and the mystery of the color would be solved by opening it up and putting it on your french fries or your hamburger. It would be either passion pink, awesome orange, or totally teal. So those are the kind of different flav flavor options. Fortunately, the person that I bought it from, although they did not keep it full, uh, did not do a great job of clearing it out. So this one was passion pink. And uh, so I can confirm that. I would be a little bit disappointed with pink because usually ketchup is red and that's a little too close. Same with the orange. That teal, I mean, that's, that's like winning the lotto when you squirt it out and it's teal. Uh, we, I think we've shown both a purple and a green from my collection, but of course the regular ones also came in red of all things and blue. Uh, so um, this was kind of the, the next logical addition and I think the most inventive one so hopefully you guys enjoy that. And even though this is Saturday, you know, it's, it's a special edition. So that means you only have to wait two days till your next CTC review. Yes. And what's it going to be? Oh boy, we are starting off year four with a bang. Or wait, I guess if it's the third anniversary. So we've completed three years, right? We're starting year four. Uh, Wendy's Baconator Pringles. We, you know, we love our Pringles here and Cheetos, flaming Hot Pepper Puffs. But uh, as I send you all off here, I just got to say thank you, especially to the folks that have been here from the very, very beginning. Thank you so much. Uh, this has been one of the great joys of my life, just sharing our time with you and creating uh, great friendships. And it almost feels like a family. That's why we send Christmas cards to your house. I mean, that's why we do it. Um, Ryan, thank you for all that you do, sacrificing your time and your energy towards uh, towards something that, I mean, you basically just kind of fell into yeah. by being my best friend. And you have uh, proven that uh, you are my best friend and the best friend that anybody could ever have. So thank you for that. And thank you to all you guys for watching. And thank you to the 4,000 new subscribers we've got in the last month. I guess YouTube just decided uh, to give us a shot finally. So hopefully that continues. And of course, until next time, I will miss you until I see you. And here's the three more great years of the CTC review, VHS tapes, and commercials. There we Cheers. Go.